Hey, welcome back. Hello everyone, it's Ken Kobe here. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how in a few simple steps, you can just scan almost every document with just your mobile phone and then a mobile app. Yes, you heard me right. But hey, first thing first, let's roll the intro. Welcome back everyone, my name is Kim Kobe. I'm an IT systems engineer, a digital and online marketing consultant, and then a disc jockey. Yes, yeah, so as I said earlier, I'm going to show you how in a few simple steps, you can just scan almost every document with just your mobile phone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with Adobe Scan. All you have to do is to get Adobe Scan from the Google Play Store and then install it on your phone. So in a few simple steps, let's get into it. So I'll open Google Play Store and then I'll search Adobe Scan. You know, I've already searched for it here. So I'll search Adobe Scan. Yes, I already have the app, so it tells me to open. So if you don't have the app, you'll be asked to, you have the option to install and then you have your app installed beautifully. Now, we'll go ahead and then open. While it's opening, I will just get my documents ready. So as you can see, I have my documents ready here. All I need to do is go on with the scan. So I just place it right on the document. Capturing, capturing, hold steady. Bingo. So I'll take the next document and then press continue. Capture. You know, um, the beauty of this. Um, scanner is that it also gives you the opportunity to um, make adjustments as to the captured areas you know if you are satisfied and then you, you go ahead and then so the third and then final one the third and final one press continue and then keep the document capturing steady captured now all I have to do is to go ahead and then make a few adjustments to my document. So now that I have my document scanned, the next step I have to do is to go ahead and then do a few adjustments to the document. If I'm satisfied with it, and I save it, just like that. So I'll go ahead and then press on continue and then tap on where I have the three because I scanned three documents. So that's where, what I have there. So I just press and then it will take some time. Right, so there it presents my document. So this is what I mean by I have few adjustments to do. I want the document in a portrait form. So I'll just go ahead and then press rotate, rotate, and I rotate. Right, I'll zoom in to see if um, every text was captured well yes beautifully captured I go to the next one I'll zoom in right so this one wasn't well captured I can just go back and then rescan it again so what I would do is that just scroll at the bottom and then press on add page so I'll choose take another photo and then I'll just take that's the second was the second page so this time and I'll make sure those that I hold it steady and then it's captured beautifully so I'll go ahead and press continue and then click my document again right this time I have it at the fourth um, I have it as the fourth document so I'll go to reorder and then now I have two of of, of, of the document so first I'll just drag this one to number two and then I'll drag the fourth page now which was number three back to number three i just tap on the check mark and then now 
I have one job to do. Delete this fourth page and then I have my three pages as I want it. So I come to the fourth page, rotate that one as well. Alright, so I think I didn't get this page alright. So what I will do is that I will go back and scan and then we'll continue from there. Give me a second. So I have my page scanned very neatly. I think yes, this one looks okay. Then this one. So I have one job to do. I just delete this page. Right. So there I have my TV document beautifully scanned. If we were to have a colored document, if we were to have a colored document, we just go ahead and then go to color and then yes, we can navigate through the colors that we want. Even for the black and white document, we still can look at a better um, preview and then go with that one. There's a gray scale. And this is a white board. Let's look at gray scale. So I think, I think the white board works fine. All of it works fine as far as it's a, a black and white document, you actually don't have much to do. So I'll go ahead and rename it. So doc scan rename save PDF. There we have it. So we can go ahead and then save it as a JPEG. That is a picture. You can also go ahead and then share the document with other people. We have share, you can share a copy, um, you can share via an email and then you can go ahead and then share a link. So for example, let's say if I choose share a copy, you can see that it gives me a list of applications that I can actually share um, the scan document to. You can also go ahead and then click more and then now copy it to your device. Because when you scan the document, it remains an Adobe scan. So you have to go ahead and then copy it to your device. Or you can save it in your Google Drive, save it as JPEG, and then all that. So I'll go ahead and then copy it to my device. I'll choose the destination where I want to um, save it, and then press on save. I'm done. So I can just go back to my file manager, and then look for the scanned documents. So there we have it, scans and then doc scan. I'll just open it. And then you can see that it looks exactly like um, we use um, a scanner to scan it. So there you have it guys. You can actually scan almost every document with just your mobile phone. You only need the app and then the mobile phone. Get good lightning flat surface and then there you have it you can scan your document at a go i think with this one we can now you know deal with or we can now work with documents that we deem confidential we can just risk leaving everything exposed to people at the printing press when we ask them to scan our document for us so guys get adobe scan on your phone and then be scanning your own document see you in the next video but hey, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And don't forget to share my channel. As I always say, stay safe, eat well, and then make the best out of every day. See you in the next video.